So, a little bit later than planned, but these burgers are absolutely epic. So as I say, later than planned, apology, decorating, which has actually gone pretty well. Although there's a bit of an echo in the room now, so I don't know, maybe the sound's not quite as good, but um, either way, delayed, but nonetheless a video, albeit by the time it's actually uploaded, um, probably will be gone 10 o'clock, but this week anyway, um, completely different. So, well, I say completely different, it's still fast food, it's still a burger joint, but as you can see there, the unboxing, which took a reasonable amount of time, which I'll come on to in a second. Um, we're going to Red Dog Saloon, which is basically an Austin, Texas style um, brisket, etc., meats, um, barbecue essentially vibe. Uh, so just from their website, where we keep it real, simple and insanely delicious, apparently. We're all about the authentic Austin, Texas barbecue vibe, bringing you flavors rooted in tradition, but refined for today, apparently. So, um, as you can see there, the fries, everything was, <clears throat> unfortunately, everything was kind of almost cold. Um, I am pushing it a bit with these deliveries because they're getting on for four or five miles, which is obviously a distance. Um, in your own car, getting through traffic, putting your foot down, maybe it's a little bit different, but these delivery drivers, especially the one that delivered this, apparently had another delivery on the way. So it took a good, I'd say half an hour um, to do the five mile journey, which I, obviously is not right. So everything was kind of pretty cold. So I've got to kind of rate this and review this as if it was straight out of the uh, box or at least a mile or two. As you can see there, this burger, it doesn't look, albeit exactly the same as advertised, as you can see now, but it isn't, honestly, isn't far off. Um, th the burgers are just unreal. If you go on their Instagram page, it's just mind blowing. They're, they're like proper American, over the top, heart attack in a bun. Um, but the flavors are just, yeah, out of this world. So um, just looking on their website, the Gooey Louie, which is what this is called, hickory maple bacon, mozzarella sticks, which and they were literally about as big a mozzarella sticks as I think I've ever seen. Um, American cheese, so kind of like the gooey cheese, and red dog sauce, which I don't know exactly what it was. It was kind of like a, I don't know, like a ranch almost sauce, I think. Uh, and obviously a, uh, a patty. I don't know if they're supposed to have two or one, but I think it's just two, uh, just one, sorry. Um, but I guess you can add to it. And as you can see there in that kind of picture of the, of the meat, it was, I would say a little bit underdone, maybe for the delivery and obviously the residual, residual heat even. They probably assumed it would kind of cook through a little bit more, but it, it was a little bit. I mean, it is, it is beef, so it's kind of fine. It's not a steak, but it's steak. Um, mints in, in that respect so okay but any any less and it would have been raw um, the maple bacon was yeah on point it was thick it was probably it was like a little bit too done so if you leave bacon out a little bit after it's cooked and sort of in the fat it was kind of like that but the flavors were just mind-blowing like I'm probably going a bit over the top but if I'd have had this straight out of the um, the oven as it were I don't think you can get much better burger, and they've got far, like a, a far bigger range. I think um, Beard Meats Food did the Devastator, which is just multiple burgers stacked up. But just as another one, Doomsday Device, the Californian, uh, the Punisher, they're all based around similar things. But epic burger, and as you'll see in a minute, the rating. I can't really give much height. I mean, it should have been probably 10 out of 10, but 9.5 and 8.75 the fries. Apology for the delay, as I say. And on to hopefully something new again next week.